All right, happy 4th of July. This is Freddie with Duke Report and Blue Devils Blog, and we are exactly two months away from the opening of the Duke football season, September 4th in um, Wallace Wade Stadium, Labor Day. Um, this is my top five, well, now top six Duke football games I'm looking forward to. Um, the reason I went with six is, an, is because it's an action-packed schedule this year. Um, I am not giving out my record prediction for the Duke football season yet in this video, but I will probably have that out sometime around mid-August. Um, last year, Duke football finished with a 9-4 and four record, winning the Military Bowl in the first year of the Mike Elko era. Um, however, the schedule is a lot tougher this season. Uh, first, before I get going with the schedule stuff, I'd like to give a shout out to Phil Still. This college football magazine is my go-to summer reading. When it comes out toward the end of June, I'm always looking at it and uh, researching and um, really love what he does with this magazine. So if you're looking for an awesome college football magazine, go get uh, Phil Still's College Football Preview Magazine today. Um, Duke's schedule is stacked. Uh, I know I won't be able to make all of the games this year, but I am looking forward to the ones I, I can make. So I encourage you Duke football fans, if you don't have your season tickets yet, go ahead and get them. Or even go ahead and get your individual games because there will be quite a few action-packed games in Wallace Wade Stadium this season. Uh, with that said, let's get to my top six Duke football games I'm looking forward to. I am going to uh, present this top six list in order of the season. Number one, of course, is Clemson, September 4th, Wallace Wade Stadium, Labor Day. Duke fans, I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, if you haven't called into sick or got your vacation days ready for Tuesday, September 5th, uh, this is your warning. Uh, Duke and Clemson have the college football landscape to themselves Monday night, Labor Day, in Wallace Wade Stadium. Uh, Clemson's number two in Phil Stills' preseason top 40 teams. Uh, this is going to be an electric game in Wallace Wade Stadium, and um, I do think Duke can pull off this win. I think it's going to be a very tough one, but it is definitely one of the top six games I'm looking forward to, and uh, Duke fans, I hope to see you there. Number two game, uh, Notre Dame. It's a home game, September 30th. Uh, the Irish come to town. Hopefully it won't be too much luck for the Irish. Uh, they are number 10 in Phil Still's top 40 preseason, and this should be another electric game in Wallace Wade Stadium, and uh, another game I will hope to be at and looking forward to. Number three, NC State, October 14th, another home game in Wallace Wade Stadium. Uh, hey, we're finally playing NC State um, just from down the road. NC State fans will surely get the remaining tickets, so that's why I encourage Duke fans, go ahead and get your... Uh, tickets for this game now because I know the NC State crowd will uh, definitely uh, pack this game out. Um, it's a solid in-state game with number 37 team in Phil Stills preseason top 40. Uh, number four game I'm looking forward to, Florida State, October 21st. It is an away game. It is the very next week after the NC State game. Uh, it's a big road game in Tallahassee. The, uh, Florida State is number eight in Phil Stills' preseason top 40. Um, I've even um, listened to some analysts have Florida State in their college football playoff predictions. So this will be a huge game down in Tallahassee that um, Duke fans should look forward to. And hey, if you can travel to it, um, go for it. I'm sure it'd be an electric atmosphere in Tallahassee as well. Um, it'd be great for Duke to get the huge road win on this game. Uh, fifth game I'm looking forward to is Wake Forest, November 2nd, home game. Um, Wake Forest is not in Phil Steele's preseason top 40, but neither is Duke. However, Duke is number 29 in his power poll. Uh, the main reason this game makes my top five or six is a Thursday night game. Uh, I love Thursday night games in Wallace Wade Stadium. You do have to schedule some work uh, things around, but um, I like Thursday night games. Hey, it opens up the weekend if you want to do something else like hiking. Uh, I'm, I'm known to do that. Or take a vacation at the beach like some of my friends do as well, and I do too. But uh, looking forward to a Thursday night game in Wallace Wade Stadium versus Wake Forest November 2nd. And uh, my last 
but not, definitely not least game I'm looking forward to is the rivalry game. UNC, November 11th, away. Duke fans, let's pack out Chapel Hill, Keenan Stadium, and let's bring the victory bell back to Duke. I know most of you guys remember last year the questionable calls in that game, but uh, let's not go there. But uh, like I said, Duke fans, let's pack out uh, Chapel Hill and let's get the victory bell and bring it back where it belongs. Um, these are my top six Duke football games I'm looking forward to. Um, hope you enjoyed this quick video. Um, follow me. Follow me on Blue Devils blog, this website, if you're checking it out there. Follow my YouTube channel, um, Skilo22. And you can also follow me on Twitter, uh, at Skilo22, as well as at Duke Report. Um, it's going to be an action-packed, exciting Duke football season. I know I'm looking forward to it, and uh, we're two months away from kicking it off versus Clemson and Wallace Wade. So, Duke fans, you have a lot to look forward. We all have a lot to look forward to, and um, hope to see some games this season. All right.